My name is Riley and I'm a freshman at the University of Miami. I'm a health science and public policy double major with a minor in biology and chemistry. Today I'm going to talk to you about IPSCs or IPS cells. One of the most amazing things happening in science today. IPS cell is an induced pluripotent stem cell. By breaking it down and looking at each word we can better understand what this is and how it operates. Basically, an IPS cell is a man-made stem cell from a previously differentiated cell by the addition of only four genes. A pluripotent stem cell is one originally only found in embryos, and it's like a blank sheet of paper. It has the potential to become anything within that specific organism, meaning they are able to grow or differentiate into any cell originating from the three germ layers, the mesoderm, ectoderm, and endoderm. IPSCs were originally discovered by Dr. Yamanaka in Tokyo, Japan, using mice skin cells. He started with a list of a few hundred genes and narrowed it down to 24 by determining which genes produce proteins that maintain a cell's pluripotent state. He narrowed that list of 24 down to 4 after copious testing, and the 4 genes are the CMYC gene, the SOX2, the OCT4, and the CLIF4. Dr. Yamanaka then traveled to my home in Wisconsin to work with Dr. James Thompson to develop the first IPSC originating from a human cell. How cool is that? This won them the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology. So this is all very cool, but how is it possible and how does it work? Well, IPS cells would be non-existent without the help of the CRISPR-Cas9 system. The CRISPR-Cas9 system uses the Cas9 enzyme as basically a reprogrammable scissors to go in and cut up DNA. The Cas9 enzyme is labeled with a specific nucleotide pattern to go into a strand of DNA and cut at exactly a certain spot. While cutting, it can insert a gene and through homologous end repair, this single strand of DNA that is inserted will be encoded in strand of DNA. And then as the cell continues to grow and replicate, each daughter cell becomes more and more similar to the embryonic stem cells that we normally see until they're indistinguishable. IPS cells are revolutionary for so many different fields of science. Not only do IPS cells serve a huge purpose in intuitive personalized medicine and treatments that avoid rejection, but they also circumvent all the ethical issues surrounding embryonic stem cells that are started by actually just taking the embryonic stem cell from an embryo. Currently, IPS cells are used for drug screenings and disease studies and a few other things, and although there have been some issues with getting them to function, the same way as normal embryonic stem cells and it may only be a small step in the right direction it has opened the potential to a whole new world of medicine one with completely individualized therapies and cures for diseases that scientists are still trying to find today